Ricky Voodoo Crab. typical Brianna and Brendan fashion, we immediately migrate to the marina. this morning at 8 a.m. I walked in there I said I think I'm regretting my life because it's so early and I'm on vacation but it was the best choice I could have made like I walked in I made a friend don't know her name but we were friends and then um, the lady was a very nice woman She's from the Philippines she was very aggressive but it's okay because it's her job um, but it was probably the best massage I ever did have. I'm actually not kidding about that. She got all the things, all the things. She even massaged my head so good, like all over. Wow. It was so nice. And I got a coffee before that, and then I walked around the ship a couple times because it just was so beautiful with the sun coming up. It was so nice. It was so and I came back here. Now it's time to go adventure. Well. How do you feel? Pretty good. Slept. I actually slept pretty good, mostly. Now, it's time for breakfast. Because I haven't eaten. I'm hungry. And it's like 10 o'clock. <coughs> so. It is 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock <laughs> almost. I'm going to have some breakfast. And start the rest of our day. It's gonna be so good. Got back to our room. Our guy made us, I'm gonna assume that's a baby. Elephant. Where's its trunk, silly? That's a rhino. Oh, it is a rhino. Little rhino. How cute, cute little guy. So fun. Don't worry, the pillows were neat. I, I messed that up just cause uh, I felt like uh, 
looking to make sure that it was my pillow because I take my pillow everywhere. You look so sweaty. Like, look at how sweaty you are. I can't see it very much. You're very sweaty. America. We just Tender. did. We just did the ropes course and the bike ride, which we'll have to videotape later for y'all. Um, might be kind of hard because we don't have the uh, all the fun things that attach this thing to our body. So. Sorry. We'll go, we'll figure it out, see if they'll let us do it. We're on our way to do a 40 minute cardio workout. Gross. It'll be so much fun. I'm gonna move. It is elegant dinner night. This is about as elegant as I get. Waiting for Brendan to be done. You almost done? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's cleaning up in here. Really getting ready for elegant night. <laughs> getting ready for dinner. And then I'm changing right back into my comfy clothes. Early. That is so not true. All right, well, oh, she's gone. Hold on. We're gonna go get some breakfast, and then we're gonna. I want to go to the casino today, so try to do that. The casino, yeah. Mr. Moneybags. Huh? I win, if I win blackjack, that means I can spend more money. I guess that's the that's the voice of a gambler. If I ever heard one. I don't care much about anything The only thing that matters to me is you But it ain't fair that I'm the one carrying The very thing that we have signed on to I just am gonna have dreams What'd you do? I tried on an $18,000 Rolex. $18,000. That was amazing. It was everything I could have dreamed and more. Like, you can't judge me for the way that I'm talking about a Rolex until you've tried on a Rolex. I will have dreams about having one. I will have nightmares about losing them. It's gonna just encompass my life now. Rolex. $18,000. But like, I get why people buy them. I do. If you understand the value of them, if you understand the history of it. Why do you? Because I just tried one on. And because yeah. we just did a seminar on it and learned the history of watches, the history. It's just there's so many things that could come with it. There's stories and how they even started and the wars. It's just incredible. It's incredible. I would buy an $18,000 watch if I was rich. But Lord knows I'm not. And that's why I can't buy one because, or that's really probably why I'm not rich. Because Jesus knew that I would just spend it. On frivolous things. <laughs> That's okay. On another note, 
we are getting ready to go to dinner and I've already checked in on the Carnival, Carnival Cruise app, which is pretty cool, I guess. A little different than the past cruises I've been on, but anyway, <laughs> we had the guys pick an anchor, which I don't remember or not if we got video of that or not, so. I don't think we did. Sorry. Normally you have to pay for it. We got Sorry, pay. guys. Well, if you, like I said earlier, if you do it during lunchtime on sea days, you get it for free. So maybe we'll try that one more time and we'll, um, we'll show you guys. We're terrible videographers. Um, well, I just feel like it could be boring just videoing on the ship because a cruise is a cruise. And for us, it's fun because we're actually experiencing it until we get better at our descriptive explanations of things. We. Oui. I'm not very good at it. You're a man of little words. Yeah, so you're the one that does it, so you. <laughs> so you want me to explain that Rolex? It, no, no. It was. We're off the topic of the Rolex. It was sleek. We're off it was the topic. smooth. When you turned your wrist, it just moved with you. It's like the motion of the ocean. It speaks to you. Okay, in other news, we're going to have, I am going to have escargot, which is snails. Um, there is a leg of lamb. Definitely going to get that. And then dessert. I think I'm just doing tilapia, baby. I don't remember what there was for dessert, but we're going to take you along for the ride today. I used to be so good at planning things. Since I met you, I threw my plans away. Coffee at night and 10 a.m. champagne. We can spend a week in London or L.A. Yeah, there's something about the way we get lost in every moment Perfectly unfocused Nothing's quite the same as you and me, baby I love it when we're wasting time Laughing until we cry, yeah I get so caught up with you Keeps us in bed all day, yeah. Tuesday through Monday, and I'm still unfazed. Yeah, the sun. Brianna and Brendan fashion we immediately migrate to the marina wherever we go apparently I think it's typical you fashion I don't know I think it's cool so we're going to check out the boats if they let us in might have to sneak our way in we'll see not sure yet but you guys will be able to see the beautiful blue water too it is absolutely gorgeous
What's about to happen here? We got another taco. Oh, come on now. And I'm gonna do a tequila shot with a scorpion in it. Just so I can get a t-shirt for free. <laughs> I think, well, I don't know. Well, I mean, you're paying for it. Maybe. We I don't know. We didn't ask, so it might we be like ask. $50. It might be $50. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Hold on. Hold on. Well, on this show we have some rules, so we say who must swallow and we choose. So today you're lucky that you have to chew it. Okay. Alright. <laughs> If you ever get the chance to stop at the Port of Aruba, be sure to swing through Aruba Maid. In the back of the building, you're going to meet the sticker lady. She is one wonderful woman. And what you're going to see are bags and t-shirts and pins and stickers and basically what you would think you would find. But what's so different and special about hers is she's trying to keep the special language of Papiamento alive. Papiamento is a Portuguese-based Creole language that's spoken in the Dutch Caribbean. It's the most widely spoken language used in the Caribbean ABC islands. Now, it's mostly going to be heard in Aruba and Curacao, but she wants to keep the beauty of this language alive by sharing it to people all over the world. Now, personally, Personally, I had to get a bag that says Contenti Wakbo. Happy to see you. How's it feel to be on the second nicest beach in the world? Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Is it everything you ever dreamed? It's nice and cool. How is the beach? How has it been? I liked it. It was nice to cool off because dang, it's hot. Yeah, down it here. was nice to cool off for sure. It's our nice cabana. Apparently, we are at the second best beach in the world. According to TripAdvisor. I don't really know if it's true, but it's a good effort. It's a good effort. Apparently it's up there with Palm Beach, somebody said. Never heard of it. It's in Florida. What? That don't sound right. Nice beach in Florida. I don't know, man. I'm waiting to dry off so we can go get a taxi. So then we can try this fresh um, seafood place. It's gonna be delicious. I, I'm ready to go try some more local food. It's my favorite thing. Oh, I just missed what we've been doing all day, mostly. What? Brianna has been digging in the backpack while I stand there and wait for her to find something. And it's always at the bottom, every time. Chapstick, sunscreen, passports, wallet, you name it. Bottom of the backpack, every time. Come on.
That's a wrap on Aruba. Here's what's to come. Thanks so much for watching BMB Serenity 